Hey y'all, welcome back to another episode of Res Rat Radio. I'm your host, Lily Lavender. We have the amazing Jaybird, and we brought back the ruthless Colombian. It always throws me off when you say, hey y'all. <laughs> like it sounds real. Hey y'all. Uh, hey yeah. y'all. It, sound, it sounds kind of like us, but not. <laughs> My own little twist on it. I, I yeah. got somebody last night that told me that I sounded like I was from here, and I was like, yeah, I'm not. You said something last night, and I was like, what did you just say that? Yeah, <laughs> yeah she does that. Like, they're just like, I have to think about it. Um, I throw people off. Yeah. Well, it's no, pretty awesome. No, no, she didn't say that. Just... <laughs> so we're calling this episode Sheriff, Sheriff Justice. Justice. Yeah, we're going to talk about different... Uh, run-ins with law enforcement or our yeah, reaction. You're going to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> so, apparently I'm going to talk about it. Or just our reactions to law enforcement in, in different ways. Uh, which, um, growing up here for me personally, um, I have I have a good relationship with law enforcement. Mm-hmm. I think Even, we all do for yeah, the most part right yeah. now. I've never had too many problems around here. Well, personally. I didn't say, I didn't say all that. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, I was talking to you about it earlier that uh, uh, this is just a reaction to how law enforcement shows up. So we were all practicing. We were playing stickball. Like, Ooh, uh, I like this one. Yeah. So we're all playing, <laughs> we're all playing stickball like over in Boat Town. And, uh, and we were out there and law for, uh, like two cop cars just show up. Uh-huh. All right. And then one of them gets out of the car and says, hey, really, really good guy. Like, I, I love this guy, uh, this guy to death. He's, and he's been in law enforcement for a little while now. Uh-huh. And he walks up on the field, and like, you see five of us just start backing up. <laughs> 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 like, why are you doing this right now? Yeah. And I look over, and it's like, man. And I was like, we all have one at time. And they just all started no oh, <laughs> so I was like, oh, man. But he just, they just saw us, apparently. Like, he was on patrol out there, and he just saw us. And wanted to come and talk to us <laughs> and play around. But, like, it was just our reaction that was funny. Like, we, like I said, he was, he was an awesome guy. <laughs> But it's always our first reaction, just to like back up two feet. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, why are you? Here? You can't catch all of us. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, they're sneaky. Like we have, uh-huh. we have that one mutual guy. I've known him for decades. Uh huh. But every time I see him, I like up until date, I've always came up to him and like excited to see him, him mm-hmm. give me a big old hug and all that stuff. But there's mm-hmm. one day in particular, he showed up at my job, which wasn't uncommon. Like because yeah. I, I worked right there. And he showed up, and I was like, "Hey, what's up, man?" And he and uh and he just kind of blew me off, just kept on walking. I was like, "Damn!" Oh I'm shit! Right. Wait, is it the one that I that I always say is pretty? Uh uh-uh. Oh, okay, <laughs> it's, it's a, a different one. It's a big one. Oh 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 yeah yeah, yeah, yeah the, that one. Yeah. So. Well, you know who the pretty one is. Come on, yeah, everybody there's knows. A lot of big ones too. <laughs> <laughs> if I knew, if I said his name, you'd know exactly. Yeah, you, know, you would. Tell me. Hey, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> but he walks by me, he kind of blows me off. I was like, all right, fuck him, man. And then, like, 20 minutes later, they, like, called me to the management office. I was like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> he was on business. Yeah. He yeah. Came in and, he, and he was like, listen, bud. He was like, I didn't know how to just, like, tell you. And he's like, I didn't want to come up and hug you and just, like, be your best friend and then turn around and tell you that you got hit up for child support. I was like, oh, oh. fuck. He's like, man. And he started laughing. He's like, just go back. Just yeah. tell her you love her and that you miss her and that it was a mistake and all this other stuff. And he's like, and then like all this will get dropped. All oh, this God. Will get I was like, that is horrible. That <laughs> like, is ridiculous. Yeah. 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 It was, and it gets worse. It gets worse. Yeah, it definitely gets worse. I had one try when it was me, something like, not child support. Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, was, I wasn't living here at the time. I came back and I went to a basketball game. Uh-huh. And he's not a cop anymore, but he was standing beside me at the game. We greeted each other. And he was like, hey, uh, you know, I go by my nickname mostly. And he said, your real name is, you know, such and such. I said, yeah. He said, what's your middle name? I told him. He's like, I think I have a warrant for you. Oh, I was shit. Like, what? I don't even live here right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, well, that's your name. And he said, do you live at Burr County? Like, I said, no, I'm in school. And I haven't lived at Burr County in years. Well, I have a warrant with your name on it. And I was like, there, there's got to be. And come to find out, there's another guy. There is. With the same name around here. Yeah. And he's always in trouble. <laughs> so, yeah. like, I get messages all the time. They'll see him in the rest report. And I mm. even ran into this guy's mom one time. Oh, my God. And she wow. was working at a local restaurant. She was like, is it your name? Is it? And I was like, yeah. She said, oh, that's my son's name. I was like, oh, he's the one that's always <laughs> fucking in trouble. Yeah. And all right, people think it's like, me when they send me in the rest report. <laughs> like, you tell him to stop using my name. <laughs> 
So you gotta have an alias or something. Yeah. Well, uh, which is funny is like, so when, okay, the same ex that put y'all to work on me, right? Yeah. We had split up. And, uh, and granted, we were mean to each other four years. Uh huh. So it was like a long time. Uh, and we're pretty, we're pretty cool now. We're very civil now. And uh, we still joke around and play, but back then we we were we would annihilate each other any possible. Yeah. Thing. Well, um, I had heard that she had all kinds of warrants, crazy freaking warrants, and uh, and I was being nosy, ain't gonna lie, just like talking around trying to figure out like what happened, because like even like as crazy as all this stuff, she wasn't that crazy, which uh-huh. is weird for me to say, because she's pretty out there. Uh, is that one or two? Two. One. Oh, this one. is one. Okay. No, two is that crazy. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, <laughs> but exactly. But uh, come to find out, we had a mutual friend that used to hang out with us, who was nuts and was always in trouble. And she had been telling law enforcement that she was my, she had my wife's name. Oh my god. Yeah, like, and then, and before she knew it, like they kept booking, booking the same person. But all at this time, where me and uh, me and my first ex wife had fought so much, mm-hmm. they knew what she looked like. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> so they were like, "No, that ain't you." And like, and she got more. She, what is what is impersonating another? It, it would it's impersonating another person. Like, and but she was racking up some serious Shit. charges there for a little bit. So I have noticed though that the cops here on the reservation are way nicer to deal with than the ones over where I live. Over. The ones in Bryson City kind of fucking suck. Yeah. <laughs> well, they're assholes. Yeah, I've had, I've had rough. Yeah, they're, it's rough over there. Well, yeah. like, okay, so I don't really have all that many run-ins with, with law enforcement. But I'm there when other people are having run-ins <laughs> with law enforcement. Yeah. Like, when I was at, I, I went to that one location to go get a drink when I picked up one of my kids mm. the other night. And that fight broke out between father and son that owned the place. I was oh, like, fuck, yeah. man. Seven <laughs> cop cars. Seven fucking cop cars show up after I left. And I was like, we got out just in time. Yeah, it was funny. Your boss came up to me the other day. And he was like, hey, I hear, I hear they're hiring a bouncer over at Dozo. <laughs> He's like, you might have to break up the owners for fighting every once in a while. I was like, nah, man. <laughs> yeah. I, I, don't, I don't live that life anymore. Yeah, those bartenders were pissed, too, because... They they would have kept going until midnight that night because they had a live band, yeah. but they had to cut things short at eleven oh seven because a fight broke out between the owner and his son. Yeah, I guarantee you, I know who that was. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it's, you it wouldn't be the first time that, that this has happened with him. <laughs> no, it won't be the last. No, right. it won't. Yeah. This fool, his son, seriously chucked a wet white rag filled with ice cubes at his dad's girlfriend's head. <laughs> Got her in the head, and then the rag. It dropped in front of. I'm gonna elaborate sexy, you know, and who. like explain that these two dudes are not reds. No, either. they're not. Red, sure, they're yeah. not. They're not native. But man, <laughs> are there some similarities? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Same area, just different. Like yeah. Different. yeah. They're more calm. Well, um, it's funny we were talking about like different, <laughs> we were talking about like different reactions. So different reactions between people too. Mm-hmm. So one of the chiefs, I did not know this my whole life. But so I live on a thirty-two hundred acre track. Yeah, my whole life, and uh, we're a like, huge portion of it. I knew everybody in that neighborhood. Like I had all like all the kids in the neighborhood. We were always hanging out. We knew each other's families. Whatever. Mm-hmm. If I didn't come home, somebody in that neighborhood knew where I was at. Yeah. I'd tell my mom or vice versa. Like my mom knew everybody in the neighborhood. Um. Well, years and years and years later, uh, I run into one of the kid, uh, one of these kids, and who happened to be the chiefs. Son, uh-huh. right? And we were talking, and he was naming off like all of my buddies. I was like, "Who the hell are you?" Uh huh. And uh, he was like, he told me who he was. I was like, "Nah." I was like, "You didn't live in my neighborhood." I was like, "There's no freaking way." I was like, "Cause I was everywhere, <laughs> everywhere, over the, all over that place." And he was like, "Yeah." He's like, "These are my friends." And he's naming them off, and they, like, sure enough, they were everybody I used to hang out with. I was mm-hmm. like, "There's no way," because we were inseparable when we were kids. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, he was like, "Well, what's your name?" And I told him, so uh-huh. he started laughing. He's like, oh, y'all were the kids we weren't allowed to play with. <laughs> yeah. I was like, what do you mean? And he was like, I don't know, something about SWAT. <laughs> so oh, my God. I started laughing. I was like, oh, okay. And I talked to mom about it. And I was like, mom, I was like, do you know, uh, me and my brother were the kids that nobody was allowed to play with in the neighborhood? And she was like, what are you talking about? You had friends all over there. And I was like, no, I was like, specifically these. And she was like, oh, my God. And she, and she was like, why? And I was like, oh, because apparently, like, SWAT showed up at the house one time. She was like, oh, my God, that was one time. 
He's like, I'm gonna call him up right now. I was like, no, nah, mom. I was like, hell, that was 30 years ago, or 20 years ago. <laughs> and then, like, she started. She was like, I just, it's like she got in a big uproar about it. She was like, hey, ain't nobody gonna treat my baby different because I'm I'm getting arrested. I was like, ah. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, what about that one? That one chief back in the day, and then my boss, she, her and her husband got in a fight with him, and oh, like dragged his wife's face through the ground, and she had to have reconstructive surgery on her face. I don't remember that story. Oh, I don't remember. What was the deal with that? Yeah, I'm gonna have to pull up the the article and show it to you because it's on. It's on. It's on um the internet. <laughs> I, I was told Chief, this story. Chief wife, wife get mauled and yeah, all my parking lot. Yeah, <laughs> I was told this story last, at the beginning of the last year when someone was telling me, "Welcome to the mafia." <laughs> oh, okay. oh, yeah. Uh huh. So I think well, and those like I said, I think all our reactions to law enforcement is a little bit more different. It is. Here it's way than different. It would be anywhere else because like I run in. I mean, I hate to say it like this because I'll. I feel like I'm always the one that's in trouble, <laughs> but, like, and I'm really not. I just I just do dumb shit. Uh, but <laughs> I I feel like my run-ins with law enforcement. It doesn't matter where I'm at. If I can make them laugh, usually things go a lot smoother. Yeah. The same with me. Mine are always pretty funny. Mm-hmm. Like, and but the ones here on the res like kind of push themselves into yeah, funny situations. Do. Like right outside this apartment, uh, I knew the cops that were here. Like, uh-huh. I was talking to him about it. He's like cracking up. Because they were blocking my way in to my driveway. You know, <laughs> and, uh, and I was just, I wasn't in no hurry, man. I just got off work. And uh, he had got out of his cop car. And uh, I was talking to him for a little bit. And I was like, so what's going on? <laughs> Being nosy. And so he started laughing. He was like, oh, you know, it's just true love. I was like, what do you mean? <laughs> he was like, He's like, it's this couple over here. They're like, two apartments down. He's like, they started fighting like hell. He's like, they called us. And then they started making up. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, my God. Show up. He said, then they got in fighting again. Started making it up. They filed another report. So now they got two DDPLs against each other. Oh, my God. He's like, so one of them had to get kicked out. We had this, like, just going on this ramp. He's like, but they'll be back together tomorrow. <laughs> I was like, no, bro, back together. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, that's kind of, that's kind of common here. Uh, uh, my girl that was my girl was talking about it and she was like you hear that screaming <laughs> like cause oh, you, shit. Cause you hear this all the time Damn. i was like yes she's like well she's like that doesn't sound normal i was like it is <laughs> 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 and she was just kind of like in awe of it i was like no nah. i was like that's a that's a regular that's thing. A thing i was like you stay out of their business let them do their thing i was like because you get in the middle of that kind of business they'll both team up against you yeah like you gotta let them they will here I've learned you gotta let them fight it out. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Leave them alone. Let them figure it out. Well, when I was growing up, uh, my mom and my stepdad used to fight all the time. Like mm-hmm. it was, it was spontaneous, sporadic, but it it was like crazy. Yeah. And uh, it was never them that called the law ever. It was always their neighbors that called the law. And like they, <laughs> then law enforcement show up, and then they'd still be like pointing fingers, talking all kinds of shit. Cop, uh-huh. they, cops would get out of the cop car, they'd be like, you know what? It's like, get the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> Like, let me talk to these guys, you know. So it was always just a wavelength of different. Yeah. If you live in any kind of like housing pocket or anything around here, that happens everywhere. Yeah. So, like the last time I lived in Birdtown uh, a few years ago, I my bedroom window like faced across the way from other houses, mm-hmm. and they were a good like hundred yards away. But one night I just heard this girl, whoever Kevin was, he messed up bad. <laughs> 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 That's all I kept hearing, like Kevin, you're a piece of shit, Kevin. <laughs> Bad for Kevin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Oh, <laughs> well, and then apparently y'all have like a bunch of arsonists. Yeah. No. <laughs> well, I mean, that's how you keep our fire department employed. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, because um, one tried to burn down my workplace when it first started. Uh, when they first started uh, renovating the place before they even opened, somebody came and tried to burn it down. So the cops were called. The kid got arrested because it was a legit kid. And then um, last year, he goes and tries to do the same thing because he was like, he walked in 
and he was all bloody and you know he his clothes were all torn and he just looked like he got into a fight with somebody and we we're like what the fuck maybe we should call the cops so we called the cops cops came and turned out that that was a kid that tried to burn the place down when they were renovating it and uh, I was like oh crap. On the way out and then he was like you know what <laughs> well, and so growing up for me uh, Big Cove was not the place to go. Like, I've always, like, it was always, like, I, which I've been up there a lot. Like, I, uh, I used to hang out with a lot of people up there, but for, like, random people, they were not allowed to go to Big Cove. No, no. Just, so, and I was telling, I was telling my buddy who was also in law enforcement, yeah. one, the pretty one. Oh, okay, the pretty I was one. <laughs> and, and I, was, uh, I was talking to him about it, and he's like, he started laughing, and he's like, now it's bird town. He's like, bird town is the new ghetto. Oh, yeah, nowadays, uh, apparently. And I was like, man, I was like, really? Because I grew up there my whole uh-huh. life. And he was like, dude, he said, I get a call every single night somewhere in, in, <laughs> in somewhere in bird town. But it's a bigger community, too. Not to give an excuse. So. <laughs> right, but it just has gotten worse down there. Yeah, yeah it's, it's gotten way worse. Because um, my friend, whose family owned the Cherokee River trips right there in Birdtown. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so he told me that back in the day that they were the only bar back then. So everybody would walk to go to Cherokee River trips to go to the bar that was in the back overlooking the river. Um, and then they, like, took it down and they closed up shop and whatnot. But they, he told me that nowadays it's way worse than what Big Cove used to be. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So that's, that's, that's what I'm saying. Well, and people used to say rough ranch was that bad, but I never had a, I never had problems with rough ranch. Mm-hmm. I think it's just because it's so far away. Yeah, it's, so, <laughs> it's, it's, it's further than bigger than I mean, you have to go all the way up that mountain. Yeah. Damn. And then travel another mountain to get to the top of it. Yeah, it's like a maze up there. Yeah. You get lost up there. So, I think, I don't think it's as bad as it is in Birdtown and Big I think it's just getting there. Like, yeah. Yeah. So, everything sounds bad. Well, back in the day, too, like, we didn't have as many cops as we used to. So mm-hmm. If you were somewhere in like Tierney or Birdtown and you were on duty and you got a call up that rough ranch, like it would take you forever to get up there. <laughs> like even burning up the roads, like even yeah. if you're hauling ass, is still a freaking thirty minute drive. Yeah. You know? But I can get there, the whole situation's over, and then somebody's hurt or dead or something. Like. Oh my god. So, so um, I used to I used to tell my mom, tell my mom I'm gonna go be a cop. Like I'm gonna go to law uh. I used to tell her all the time. And she'd be like, "Oh yeah, that's great. You should you should do all this stuff, whatever." And I was like, "Yeah, I want to work for no, I want to work for here on the tribe." And she's like, "No, don't ever do that." <laughs> I was like, and I I I'd wake up and be like, "Why?" She's like, "I don't want you to be the one that had to like, take me to jail one day." Like, that would be so horrible. Like that break my heart. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, Mom. "Like maybe I'm not the problem here." Yeah. So she was like, I'm never, she's like, I don't do half the crap that they say that, I, half the crap that they say yeah. that I'm doing. She was like, I never do all that. And she was like, they just like us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But like she said earlier, like, I've never had problems with Cherokee cops. Like, yeah. I know a lot of people just don't like cops in general, but I've never, I feel like Cherokee cops around here, and they're, they're pretty chill. They are very chill. But I, I ran into some chill ones, like, down in Brighton City one night, we were going to the bar. And there was a car in front of us, and we had a sober driver, so we were going down the road, and we got to Darnell Farm, uh-huh. and we see blue lights, and we're like, damn it. Of course, we had a sober driver, but we were all panicking. <laughs> yeah, like like we were doing something wrong, like we have a DD, <laughs> but we were all still like, damn it, like, we probably had open containers. But um, we were rolling up, and right when she's rolling the window down, we still had the radio, like, blasted, because we were all singing along, and all of a sudden... <laughs> I don't see nothing wrong. Oh, shit. The wind is rolling down, and you hear the cop's face is just like, yeah. <laughs> smiling and shaking his head. Like, you guys okay? And we were like, yeah, we're just going to the bar and our duty. He's like, yeah, I'm the driver. And we were like, he's like, man, y'all get out of here. <laughs> so our, our Kelly Buffer and I just pops up as soon as we pull up to the cop. We are like, yeah, yeah. You know, bus load of dudes. <laughs> wow. No, I don't know. <laughs> it was a mix of magic. Surprised they didn't get us with having too many people in one vehicle. Oh damn! I know. <laughs> well, and that's another thing. And I think that's the kind of stuff that you can only get away with in a small town. Because the small town is like the small infraction things. Like if you got way too many people in one car, I think they'll let that slide as long as the person driving. Yeah, it's, it's sober. sober. Yeah, like, just don't go freaking nuts. You know? Like I have no issues with cops, and for the most part, when I see them or I encounter them, 
they're typically nice. Mm -hmm. um, but I say the state troopers for me are the nicer ones. No. Yeah. <laughs> no. I'm sorry that you got a ticket from a state trooper and I got away with like a felony. <laughs> oh, yeah. well, well, you have a couple of things that we don't have. <laughs> Get you out of this All place. these assets. <laughs> oh, <whatever. laughs> I played the flipped out mom pretty well. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, there's a new acronym for that too. What? Milf. Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck ever? I thought there was a new one. I, like, yeah, like, oh. I was too. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a new word. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, like, nah. It so, doesn't work. For, it doesn't work for me. So. Yeah. Like a couple weeks ago, before I almost got my ticket, he got his ticket. Mm -hmm. <laughs> for speeding and um the when the one that i got away with was i had a different license plate on my car yeah because yeah. one of my kids switched out the license plate because my tags were expired yeah so she's rolling with expired tags and then a different tag for a different vehicle yeah so it's not a felony but it is it's, it's a pretty big deal <laughs> it, yeah. it is yeah. the state trooper flagged me pulled me over on, on shepherd's creek and bryson and um he was like, do you know why I pulled you over? And I was like, no. He goes, because when I ran your license, it comes up to a Ford Ranger. This is not a Ford Ranger. <laughs> I was like, shit. Yeah. And I had a car full of kids. <laughs> we always have that deer in headlights look too. I did, oh. yeah. yeah. I can't do that. So I was like, yeah. one of my kids played a trick on me and switched out my license plate with, with his. And he's like, is one of those kids inside the car right now? I was like, no, he's at work. <laughs> So my son and my daughter started flipping out because they thought I was serious. They didn't realize that I was playing a part to get out of this ticket. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Well, um, I, I do okay if I can make them laugh. Like that's that's the ultimate goal. If I can make them laugh, I'm okay. But yeah. if it's like a, that last ticket was bullshit. Like, uh, There's no ready. way you hit 62 that fast. Yeah. No. Not in the little quarter mile stretch. You know? <laughs> I'm, in a damn, I'm in a damn Nissan, not in a freaking Ferrari. Yeah. yeah. But there was this one day I was late for work over here in Cherokee, and I ain't gonna lie, I was hauling ass. Uh -huh. like, I, he like he definitely it was it was my ticket, but he was coming in the opposite direction, and like I passed him. And I was like, okay, maybe if, if like if he doesn't turn, if I don't see him like whip around, like I know I'm good. Uh -huh. And then I look at my rear view mirror and I see him make the U turn. I was like, fuck. I was like. So I start speeding up. And I was like, I think I can get away. My dumbass. And uh, so I start speeding up and then uh, get out of his uh, out of his line of sight. And I see a random gravel road. Mm -hmm. There's a hotel like next uh, next to the old the Smoky Mountain School over there. So there's a gravel road right in front of this hotel. And I like I was like I'm gonna try something. So I pull up in the road. And I kind of kick up the dust and mm -hmm. then I ease out and then I go behind this motel. <laughs> <laughs> So I go behind the motel and I'm waiting to see see if this cop goes up the road. Uh -huh. And sure enough, he went up the road. And I was like, oh shit, that actually worked. And then he stops. Oh shit. <laughs> My damn tail lights are sticking out. Just I was like, did you up. forget to turn off your lights? Well, no, it was daylight. <laughs> it's just like he could just see the rear end of my car. Oh, like, damn. Outside the hotel. And so I just pull out of the hotel like he'd never seen me before. And I just kind of. Uh, and then at this time, I'm not speeding. I'm driving. I'm the I'm the best pedestrian driver. <laughs> so, I'm not, too. <laughs> so I'm driving, and I was like, "Damn, he knows it's me. He knows it's me." Sure enough, he blue lighted me, and uh, we we pull off in the old mission over there, and he starts laughing. And he was laughing before he got to the car. Damn. Uh, and I rolled down the window, and he looks at me, and he's like, "All right, man." He said, "I'm gonna ask you a question." He said, "And I'll know if you're lying to me or not." <laughs> He was like, he's like, I want you to be honest with me. I was like, all right, man. I was like, fire away. And he was like, was you playing cat and mouse with me? <laughs> <laughs> I started laughing. I was like, yes, sir. I was like, apparently you're better at this game than I am. <laughs> but he starts cracking up. And he's like, he's like, you know, I ask this question all the time. He said, they always lie to me. <laughs> he said, keep it under 60. No, like, yes, oh, sir. Shit. <laughs> yeah. Dang. Yeah, real cool. But he's an older guy, too. Though. Mm -hmm. So, like, he's been doing this for a while. They just don't have to do all the paperwork. Yeah. yeah. That's what it is a lot of times. They just don't have to do all the paperwork they have to do. Yeah. Oh, and I've heard, I actually heard that here recently. It's like, there's just a buttload of paperwork on every little thing. It was like, even with uh, paramedics, uh -huh. they, they hate some of these small calls because there's so much paperwork. <laughs> that's, what, see, that's like my thing though. It's like, if I can make them laugh, like, I was, uh, this one time me and some friends of mine, 
went to another res, which is always dangerous. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but we we drive all night to get to the other res to see our friend. We get there and we sleep maybe like three or four hours, and she gets us up and she's like, "We're going to this pool tournament at this bar." Like my mom's hosting that, where it's a fundraiser, da, da, da. and I was like, "We were like, cool, you know." So we're at this bar at like ten in the morning, all day okay. playing pool, drinking, cutting up, you know, just having a good time. So my friend and her sister from this res end up fighting with two other girls from this res. Oh my god! They're in the bathroom, and the bathroom door like busts open. And there's hair <laughs> flying everywhere, and fists, and they're just fighting. So the owner of our eventually calls the cops. Me, they're like dealing with the. The friends and said, I'm a visitor there. I'm just like outside chilling. So there's the cops standing there. So I go over and start talking to them. I'm like, okay. hey, maybe they'll let my friend go. So I can be <laughs> cool here. Finesse them out of it. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm standing there talking to the cops. And this is when Chappelle show like got really big. Oh, yeah. So I'm like, yeah, I'm like doing impressions <laughs> from Chappelle show, like talking to them and making them laugh. Like they're standing there dying laughing. My friend is in the back of the car looking at me like, <laughs> like, like, why are you sitting there laughing and talking to the cops and they just put me in the back of this cop car yeah I'm just like I'm trying to save you man like, oh, dang. Uh, it didn't work no but they didn't take me to jail so I was like <laughs> okay I'm fine with this well, just escaped anyway yeah <laughs> I was the one fighting so uh, well and uh I told you about it uh, when I, I I got drunk like, uh -huh. I, was, I drank a lot I don't even remember the I don't even remember the occasion but we were like, we were at our dive bar over in Bryson, uh, or over in Silva. And, uh, yeah, oh, that one. Yeah, that one. And uh, I closed it down. I was flirting with the bartender because she was there. Uh-huh. And, uh, like, I closed it down. I was flirting with her. She was, and she made all my drinks. And she makes them strong because she loves me. Deep down. <laughs> way deep down. She just doesn't know that yet. Nah. <laughs> uh, and then, uh, so I, I got in the car. I was like, damn. I was like, all right, I'm going to go get some food. So I went to cook out. I'm going to go get food. And I'm trying to sober up or whatever. And uh, I got lazy. I left, and instead of making that big U-turn on the highway, I decided to go through, through town, town by the highway patrol station. Mm -hmm. And I like when I did it, I was like, "Man, this is not smart. This is not smart mm -hmm. at all." Well, uh, sure enough, like I pull in, and there's that that old BB&T that used to be there. It's not BB&T anymore. I see a cop car behind me. I was like, "Shit!" I was like, oh. "I was like, he's already gonna pull me over." Sure enough, like right before I get to the bank, he uh, blue lights me. I pull in and I'm sitting there and he comes up and I didn't even roll the window down. He just comes up and starts patting on the glass <laughs> on his mag light. And I roll down the window. He's like, hey man, he's like, just, I'm just, I got a couple questions for you. I was like, yes sir. And he's like, you've been drinking? <laughs> I was like, yeah, I had one, maybe two. <laughs> and he's, I think he was trying to be a smart ass, but I was already lit and it's too late. He's like, he, which one is he it? He was like, well, he's like, which one is it? Is it one or two? I was like, it's one. Could have been two. <laughs> he was like, step out of the car. I was like, oh. So I get out of the car and, we, and uh, he's and he's he's a beat cop. Like he was he's a patrol officer and then highway patrol pulls up. Oh. So I've got two cop cars right there and I'm like, man, I ain't gonna get out of this. I ain't gonna get out of this. And he's like, I'm gonna ask you a series of questions. And he was like, you just answer them and then and and we'll just go from there. And he's like, where are you going? I was like, oh, I'm going to wait here. I'm on my way home. <laughs> He's like, okay. He's like, all right. He's like, I'm going to ask you another question. He said, it's very important. He's like, do you want to do a breathalyzer or a field sobriety? And I raised my hand like I was in kindergarten. I was like, field sobriety. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he was like, okay. He's like, all right. He said, he started you know, doing the light trick where you have to follow the light with your eyes and all this stuff. And he's making me like hold my nose and freaking pat my head and raise one leg and all this other stuff. And hold your nose. Yeah. yeah. All, all kinds of, all kinds of Touch crazy. Touching nose. Touch your nose. Uh, I, See, I can do this I better drunk, this actually. Yeah. <laughs> I can yeah. drink this one. Yeah, so, I can do this better. I can do this better drunk, obviously. <laughs> but uh, he, he's quizzing me, and like, this is taking forever. But in my head, I'm like, oh man, I'm killing this test because he keeps asking me questions. Uh -huh. Like he's trying to get me, and I was, I start laughing. And he was like, why are you laughing? I was like, because I'm burning this test up, man. And I was like, I'm winning. No. And he was like, you're barely doing it, man. <laughs> but he's he's laughing. And uh, and he was like, okay, man. He's like, let me go talk to this highway patrol guy. And he was like, and then let me figure out what I got to do next. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> and uh, highway patrol walks up, and he, he makes me do the flashlight thing, too. And he was like, okay. And he's like, I'm going to leave. 
So that's how we probably uh-huh. beat cop comes back up to me and he's like, all right, man. He's like, be honest with me. He's like, what's in that cup right there? He's looking at my cookout cup. Uh-huh. I was like, man, this is cheer wine, I promise. He was like, okay. He said, get your car. He said, sit there and don't do anything. He said, drink some more <laughs> of that cheer wine. He said, when you see me, leave. No, no blue lights <laughs> anywhere. Go home. I was like, yes, sir. <laughs> so he was. He was really, really cool about it. But if I didn't have him, I don't think if I didn't have him laughing, like yeah, he would have been screwed. I think I'd have been beat down. He called me after this whole incident happened, and I was like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> like four, so like three thirty in the morning, like yeah. get your ass home. <laughs> 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 oh, man. So that was that was one of my one of my. Escapes. It was like I just had my first field sobriety test <laughs> ever. <laughs> it was like, and, I, I I mean, it. and I killed it. That's yeah. exactly what I was like, I hate <laughs> that thing, man. Oh my god! Oh man, so I definitely got definitely got lucky. There. Yeah, yeah. No, there's a lo- there's a lot of chill law enforcement out there. <laughs> we just gotta find them. <laughs> yeah. right. I mean, you just gotta get lucky that you get picked yeah. up by them. Is what it is. And apparently, it's when we're being stupid. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I mean, I wasn't even being stupid this one time. Like I was telling y'all earlier, I, I had one the story from way out of town years and years ago. This is when we still had the stickers on the windshield for inspections. Oh. Remember those? Mm-hmm. Those little yellow stickers, and they had to punch the hole in or whatever. This, so that's how long that was. Uh-huh. But uh, I was living out of town, and my job that I had, if we didn't get our work done from the day before, it was in the plant. Like, if any machines messed up, like, we would have to be in that much earlier the next mm-hmm. day and get caught back up. Well, I had to go to work at, like, 3 in the morning one, one time. And, of course, the bars are let down at 2, so, oh, of course, shit. there's going to be roadblocks. So I go through a roadblock. The guy gets me for a dead inspection sticker. Well, I end up moving back home. I come back. Uh, I go down there to uh, same town to uh, Fourth of July cookout. Mm-hmm. So I go to Walmart. I buy all this food and stuff. And I'm driving through the same town where I got the ticket, and a cop comes up behind me. I'm like, I'm not thinking anything of it because I was doing nothing wrong at the time. I was at the red light. So he pulls me over and he's like, "You know, why I pulled you over." He's like, "You have a warrant because of a unpaid ticket." And I was like, "What are you talking about?" It was that inspection sticker. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, he was like, I have to take you. I was like, for that? You know, he was just like, yeah, man, you know, I, I don't really want to, but I have to. So, we're on the side of the road at this huge intersection in this town, and he's putting cuffs on me, and I saw this car just looking around randomly. It was a red Mustang. Mm-hmm. I saw it at the red light, you know, it kind of just caught my eye out of the rest of the car. It goes by, the window rolls down, and this big black girl hangs out the window, she goes, you leave that man alone. He ain't do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I die laughing. The cops die laughing. <laughs> he was like, man, people down here are crazy. Uh, so apparently. Dang. <laughs> like, <laughs> Did he let you go? No, no. I, they, but they processed me and just took me back to my car. Right? <laughs> and I got to the cookout and I was telling my grandma, I was like, yeah, I just got arrested. You know, that's why I went, it took me a while to get back. She was like, what? Who do I need to call? What do I need? What did you do? <laughs> oh, like, well, I was like, but they were chill about it. Like, I found out the one kid, uh, the one officer's kid went to like NC State or something. So, uh-huh. me being a Carolina fan, I had to give them hell about that. So, while they're booking me and doing my doing all my stuff, like, we're just chilling and talking. And, oh, so, <clears throat> at this time, I didn't have a bank account. I was young and stupid. I had just cashed my per cap check. Uh-huh. And I had like $5,000 in the envelope of my car. And the cop's like, what are you doing with all this money? And I was like, damn. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> You'll never believe me. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You see my license, where I'm from. And he was like, all right, man. He's like, but I just would probably put that in the bank. I was like, okay. Next time. Yeah. You're like, oh, no, I don't trust those guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, and my parents, which I think I have a different kind of parents than normal parents, mm-hmm. but uh, which don't get me wrong, I'm thankful on a lot of different fronts, but like they're all about pressing that line of your civil rights. Mm-hmm. You know, like, you know, be. They're always the ones that are like, you know, don't don't ever agree to a search and seizure, mm-hmm. like so, and like don't uh, don't ever admit wrong. Like they come up to the car because my sister, God bless her, like she gets pulled over and she'll start singing for like a canary. Like they'll be like, you know what, I pulled you over. She's like, I'm so sorry, I was speeding and I ran that stop line and like, I, I, like, I, like I freaking jabbed my brother when I was like when I was like three and I was like, dude, shut up. <laughs> so when I get pulled over it, it like do you know why I pulled you over I was like I have no clue man yeah, like, I'm, this is cr- I'm just as shocked as you are yeah. <laughs> and like yeah that doesn't usually go um, too well but like 
I don't even ever admit your faults because it's usually not really what you yeah. get pulled over for. Like that one time I got pulled over going, I know, <laughs> I did. He was, like, he was like, you have a life that's out. I was like, oh, I didn't know. Oh, wow, that's crazy. <laughs> I just got off of work. I'm going to pick up my friend from the airport. And yeah, he gave me a... a, a, a little, it was a little slip. Yeah. Like, every, like all law enforcement knows that she's already been pulled over for it. Yeah, but no ticket. That, that's not me here for you. That's where you, that's where you like, stick, like stick your chest up at the window. It's like, I had no yeah. clue. Oh my, oh my God. He swore up and down that the dude was flirting with me. I was like, oh, no, 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 he wasn't. All he was, man. He Dude, was like, before came out. He <laughs> <laughs> was wild, man. <laughs> that, that's happened to me. Not, not the nipple thing. <laughs> <laughs> I got pulled over and my tag was there for like two years uh-huh. and he pulled me over and oh so we're cousins like found out we're literally we're cousins uh-huh. so he's like well just go get this taken care of we get down the road we're going to the Mars Bison of course we get down the road and there's a roadblock uh-huh. like, he didn't give me the thing but the guy I pulled up and I was like man I just got pulled over my tag's dead he just told me to get it taken care of next time I can. and the cops were like alright I'm going through really? <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. oh shit well I'm always uh, so like my tag was dead for over a year and a half, and you were like you were like on my ass about it. Yeah. You were, like, specifically on my ass about it, and it wasn't until I went through that roadblock. Yeah. In and I was like, damn. And there was like eight cops like on this on this roadblock, which is normal in which is normal in Birdtown. Mm-hmm. But I was going through it, and I was like, please be somebody else. Please don't be somebody I know. And, yeah. and sure enough, it was like one of my cousins. Mm-hmm. And he comes up, and he's like, oh, hey, man, what's going on? And I was like, oh. I was like, you know what? I'm always so happy to see you. And he was like, all right. He's like, what are you doing? And I was like, I was going to go and play. Go get, go, go get a drink. <laughs> and he said, he's like, all right. And he's like, be safe. And he's way me through. I was like, yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's the good thing about a small town. and usually know one of them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If you can get, I mean, and if you're, Nice. <laughs> like, yeah. If you're willing to play, don't be assholes. Because I've seen some of these, and not to be fascist on that, but it's usually women. Like, if we, and in my scenario, it's usually women. Like, that auto, automatically get defensive or mm-hmm. angry. Like, as soon as they get pulled over or if they go through roadblocks, they're yeah. like, no, you're not touching that. I'm like, oh, you're not seeing that. Like, <laughs> like wait a minute. You're not on America's Most Wanted. Fucking yeah. chill. <laughs> like, God. Cameras aren't around. It's just a cop. Like, yeah. <laughs> What what was that when you got arrested? When you were at baseball <laughs> practice? <laughs> oh, bro. That was, oh, God. That's, oh, that, was, that was a low blow. Okay, I'll tell you the story. It, and it's <laughs> actually, honestly, he got away and he got to do stuff that they wouldn't normally let other people go with. I don't even know if I should tell all that. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's a little specific. Since, since you already told it, but here's the story. It's <laughs> a little specific. All right, so I was on my way to practice. We were, and honestly, we had been practicing all week, so my face is kind of mauled up, like already before I even get pulled over. <laughs> and uh, like I'm passing, I'm passing the movie theater, and the jail, like practice is like literally four minutes away from from the theater. Jail is literally thirty seconds away mm-hmm. from the theater. And I get pulled over, I get pulled over there, and the guy walks up, and I, I know who the guy is. He walks up to the car, and he was like, listen, man. And he said, we got to do something about this warrant. <laughs> oh, oh, my yeah. God. Oh, and I, granted, oh, man, this is where the details where I don't really want to admit to it. Okay, so I've been evading this warrant for over six years. Yeah. <laughs> like, this has been on, like, been in the system for over six years. And it's XY shit. Yeah, it's stupid. Yeah. When I say when I say that we were mean to each other, we like she put this warrant on me. I had no freaking clue, and then like random cops are telling me like, oh, you should do something about this warrant, and I don't want to go to jail. Like so, like I've avoided this for six years. (laughs) Well, he pulled me over, and he was like, yeah, man. (laughs) I should you not this side of the story. But he was like, I saw you at that party the other night, and I was gonna tell you then, but like we gotta do something about this warrant now. I was like, all right, man. I was like, if it's cool, I'll turn myself in tomorrow. <laughs> just let me go right now. I was like, I'm on my way to practice. He said, sorry, man. Run, done run your plates. I was like, damn. <laughs> I was like, come on, man. He was like, yeah. He's like, if you want, you can leave your car here at the theater. He's like, I can take you to jail. He's like, we can just kind of do our thing. I was like, all right, man. I was like, if you do me a huge favor, I was like, I'd really appreciate it. And that's how cool he was. And he, I was like, man, I was like, I live literally three minutes away from the mm-hmm. theater. I was like, let me go park my car at my house. I was like, you can take me from there and uh, take me to jail. And mm-hmm. he was like, and he started thinking about it. I was like, man, I won't get away. I was like, I promise. I was like, I live, <laughs> I live on Main Street. It's nowhere I can go. And he was like, all right, man. 
He's like, I'll buy you the house. And he says, and then I'll with you there. I was like, bet. So we came to the apartment, I parked my car, and uh, he looked at me, he's like, all right, I got a cup of you. I was like, oh, all right. So, and I'm making like all these noises. I was like, that's cool, man. So he cussed me, he cussed me in the front though. He's real cool, he's a gentleman about it. And then he opens the front door to his cop car. I was like, I get to ride in the front. <laughs> no. He was like, yeah. He's like, I'll let you ride in the front. He's like, just don't touch another button. I was like, oh. I was like all right. Yeah. But I got lucky. This is the part of the story I really didn't want to tell. But <laughs> so I go in the jail. Like, I go into the jail. They're booking me. And they're talking on the radio. And naturally, I have buddies that are jailers. Yeah. Like, and like, they, naturally. Were, they were so excited. <laughs> yeah. Uh, one of them in particular is probably my best friend. Yeah. Oh, not probably. He is. He is my best yeah. friend growing up, and uh, he was so excited to hear my name on the radio that he had left shift, made it home, turned around, and came, came back, back just to put me. <laughs> <laughs> like, he was so excited, and uh, he's he's actually got my damn uh, picture. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what, what is that called? Mugshot. Uh, yeah, he's got my mugshot on his fridge. He cranked yeah. it up. <laughs> it is such a bad shot, too. But they, is that what any best friend would do? Yeah, <laughs> like, it is. I would, I would have done it too. It would be yeah. like my wallpaper on my phone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So he, he like booked me, did all the paperwork. And he's like, hey. <laughs> and they ask you like a bunch of like ridiculous questions, <laughs> like books of ridiculous questions. And he's answering yes to like all the wrong ones. Like, are you affiliated with any gangs? So he marks yes. <laughs> He's like, uh, have you, like, do you have HIV? He's like, yes. <laughs> like, and, like, all the wrong questions, he's like, he's really being a jerk about it. You know, he's just like, stamp, 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 stamp. And I'm like, man, I was like, I was like, so I'm now a gang member. I was like, I've got all these STDs. <laughs> I was like, and I'm gay. So, like, he's yeah. going, going through all this list and he's just fucking with my paperwork. Yeah. Then he calls uh, uh, the uh, magistrate. And like, well, this is where the good friend comes out, not the bad friend. He yeah. calls the magistrate, and he's like, "Listen, he's like, I know this is the last call. He's like, if you could, if you could kind of do this, blah 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 blah." So they like sped it out. So I, like, he walked me out of the jail. I was yeah. probably there for like twenty minutes. Yeah. Like most of it doing paperwork. So they're really really cool about it. I hope I never get a warrant because I want to have to explain all yeah. these questions he marked yes on. Uh, uh, <laughs> like, no. They're all like gloving up, masking up, coming yeah. in. Like, this guy's got everything. <laughs> yeah, like, he's, he's a walking parasite. <laughs> they got to put gloves on before they put cuts on you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they're all, oh, God. <laughs> now I'm going to get pulled over and there's going to be like 30 different cop cars. And just, like, <laughs> ambulance. An ambulance. Uh, yeah. Hazmat suits. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. Okay, we're going to have to wrap this up. Well, guys, thank you so much for listening in. Until next time, I uh, appreciate it.